This is a picture of me when I was five days old. And this is me today. I just turned 22. Ew. I've been around on this planet for 8,066 days. Which is a long time. It is. 22 years is nothing to sneeze at. But you know, there's something interesting about such a long span of time. It can get to you. It can make you think that there are things in your life that you haven't accomplished yet and you might never accomplish because you haven't gotten to them yet. But what I wanted to talk about today was something kind of interesting on that philosophy. In my 22 years on this planet, I've been able to do so much. I've had two public radio shows, both of which ran for a few years, respectively, and were very popular around the area. I've had two television shows, both local, one when I was younger, and one just a couple of years ago with Classics by Candlelight. Both of these were things that I wanted to do. They were labors of love for me. I've been able to pretty successfully over the years run two YouTube channels, this one and Chris J Films. And some of my favorite things I've ever done are on these channels, be it uh, Disappointing Our Parents Again, or the Idiots in the Room podcast, or Into the Memory Box, or Classics by Candlelight, or some of my very early puppet videos. I've been able to do a lot on these channels. I've worked at so many places, a lot of fast food places, yes, but also fucking Walt Disney World. That happened in my 22 year span. I would have never, ever thought that that would happen. I've been in a lot of clubs. I did the Cub Scouts, and I did Taekwondo, and I did Karate, and I did the Swim Team, and none of these really had my, uh, my best interests for myself. So I started getting involved in theater and performing. And in the time that I was regularly doing plays, up until around eighth grade, I performed in over 25, if not 30 plays. I haven't done much since, except for a stint in high school, but it was still something. 30 plays is a lot. I've been on several vacations to Florida and California and Tennessee. I got a letter from the White House for doing charity work. I've been on TV and in the papers and on radio stations several times in my life for doing charity work. I graduated high school. That's something that a majority of people can say, but not everybody. That's something. I've been to college. I did a year of college. And that's something too. It wasn't for me, but I did it. I've made and lost friends. I've gained and lost lovers. Lost some family along the way too. I've formed great bonds with people. And I've also made a couple enemies. I've fucked up in my life. But I've also had great triumph. There are things that I regret saying and doing, but there are things that also that I would never take back or never not say again. The trajectory of my life has been an up and downhill course over these past 22 years, but mostly it's been up. I've been a happy person. I've lived a happy life. This is where I want to be. I would never want to be anywhere else in time. This is my life. And this is what I love to do. Through online media, I have found my calling. Through my friends, I have found my livelihood. Through my work, I've found something that I don't really like to do, but hey, at least it pays the bills. With my family, we've laughed, we've cried, we've fought, we've been a family. And I could never ever repay my family for what they've done for me over the years, even though I would like to. My bedrock in life has been my family. I love my family. Even though I might make jokes sometimes or say things that I don't really mean, I would never trade my family for anyone else. I am so incredibly lucky to have them. My friends, both on and off the channel, have been just some of the greatest people I know. And they are the people that I choose to spend my, my time with, my precious, valuable time. I choose to spend it with them. In my life, I've been able to read great literature, watch great television, see great movies, listen to fabulous music, and just experience life as it's meant to be experienced. I've seen oceans, I've been in the air, I've floated down great rivers in California and driven the seven hour freeway from Los Angeles to Sacramento all by myself. Speaking of which, I got my driver's license when I was 16 and I've been able to pay for both of my cars with cash. Now that's something that I'm very proud of. I've had amazing irrecoverable experiences that you just can't manufacture. Things that stem out of circumstance. You can't 
force these things. Look, it's been 22 years. And in that time, I've been able to do so much, as I've just told you. And when I sit back and think about all the opportunities that I've had over the years, ones I've taken, ones I haven't taken, things I've let just sit at the wayside, or things that I've snatched up and ran with. It feels to me like there are so many people who go around and say that they don't have time for a lot of things. And I've said that too, I've said those exact words. That I don't have time for this, and I don't have time for this, because I would much rather be doing other things. Like maybe sleeping in later, or going to see the really horrible movie that you're really not getting any favors from watching, but it's a bad movie and you want to sit through it with your friends and laugh at it. And I think those moments are important. But you also have to remember that throughout your life, these things that you do are all on a timeline. And you can look back at the things you've done and say, say, oh yeah, I, I did that, and I had fun with it. But in your head, do you really feel the time frame? Just for example, the first time I did Souls for Souls, when I look back on that, it seems like it took about a week to do the entire thing from start to finish. But in reality, it took months upon months, months of planning, months of action, and the entire thing probably encompassed around six or seven months. But in my head it doesn't feel like that, because there are other things that you do in a project that are sprinkled in. And sometimes these things only last a day. Like, some of these ex life experiences I've, I've had, some I've mentioned, some I haven't, they can happen within a day. And you can remember those things for the rest of your life. And then some of them happened over long periods of time. And you can remember them for the rest of your life, sure, but when you look back, your memory distorts for all the things that happen in that one bit of your life. It feels like they happen in a much shorter time because that's all your memory is letting you remember. So my whole point is this. When you say you don't have time for something, you actually do have time. Because in the 22 years I've been alive, I've been able to do so much. And it may feel like I'm running out of time, which I am in a sense, but we still have a lot of time left. 8,066 days. What am I gonna do in the next 8,066 days? In the next 22 years? In the next 10 years? In the next five years? In the next year? What will I do? Where will I go? What will I see? I don't know. And that's the beauty of life. I don't know what's going to happen because life is unpredictable. I could die tomorrow and that would be the end of everything. But I would still have those 22 years of achievements and accomplishments and life well spent behind me. So for anyone out there that is thinking about their life, think of it as a timeline. Everything is on the timeline up until today. And everything going forward, it hasn't happened yet. But the timeline is still there. You can see the timeline. You can't see if it has an end because you don't know when the end is. So just keep walking forward on that timeline. Let it flow naturally. And when you get to the end, you'll be able to look back at the rest of the timeline and you'll be able to say, well, I lived my life exactly how I wanted to live it and I'm happy. Or I didn't live my life how I wanted to live it and I'm unhappy. I know I might be trying to sound profound here, and I'm probably coming off as an entitled asshole, but I don't know, I think there's something to it. And if you don't think there is, then I totally get that. Because, let's face it, I'm not the greatest speaker in the world, especially on the fly like this. I had an idea of what I wanted to say in my head. I don't know if it's coming off right, but it's, uh, it's something. Sure is something. Anyway, I'm 22 now. I'm gonna go get wasted. Ba-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs>